Hi, I'm chatting with my friend in Japan. She's having her lunch right now. It's 12.30 p.m. I live here in Sydney, where it's 1.30 p.m. I've had my lunch already. Japan is in a different time zone to the eastern states of Australia. Over in Perth, it's 11.30 a.m. now. So Japan is in a different time zone from Perth as well. Australia is a large enough country to have more than one time zone. In fact, it's got three. The time zone in any place around the world depends on its longitudinal location. The reference point is known as UTC, or Coordinated Universal Time. It's sometimes called Greenwich Mean Time, or GMT. Australia and many parts of Asia are between 8 and 10 hours ahead of UTC. Cool! My friend says she's coming over to Sydney next holidays. She's booked her ticket already. She flies at 0900 hours or 9am on a Wednesday. Let me see. How long does the flight from Osaka take? OK, so what time will she land if there are no delays? I can work that out using a simple equation. 0900 plus 10 hours and 9 minutes equals 1900 09 hours on Wednesday. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Sydney and Osaka are in different time zones, remember? So Sydney is one hour ahead of anywhere in Japan. So it's 1900 09 hours plus one hour. She'll be landing at 2000 09 hours in Sydney. That's expressed in 24 hour time. So in 12 hour time, it will be nine minutes past eight in the evening or 8.09 p.m. on Wednesday evening. She sent me her whole itinerary. She's also visiting Cairns, Alice Springs and Perth while she's here. She's flying overnight from Cairns to Perth via Brisbane. She leaves Cairns at 11.45 p.m and lands in Brisbane, which is the same time zone as Cairns, at five minutes past 2 a.m. So how long is that flight? Calculating times like this can get a bit tricky because we're not using numbers to the base 10. There are 60 minutes in an hour and 24 hours in a day. So I'm going to use my online time calculator. Okay. It's 11.45 p.m., then 2.05 a.m., two hours and 20 minutes. She's then got a 30-minute wait for her connecting flight in Brisbane to travel to Perth, which takes four hours and 59 minutes. What will be the time in Perth when she lands? Her departure time is 2.35 a.m. So it's 7.34 a.m. But Perth is two hours behind, so local time there will be 5.34 a.m. From Perth, she's going to Alice Springs, flying out at 10.15 a.m. and landing in Alice Springs at 2.44 p.m. So how long is that flight? Using the time calculator, four hours and 29 minutes is the answer it gives. That seems like a long flight. That's because Alice Springs time is an hour and a half ahead of Perth. So I have to subtract an hour and a half from the flight time. It actually only takes her two hours and 59 minutes for the flight. She returns to Perth for a week and then she flies back to Japan via Singapore. The flight to Singapore takes five hours and 21 minutes. Departure time from Perth is 4.30 p.m. So what time will she land in Singapore? 9.51. And they're in the same time zone. So no adjustment needed. A two hour wait at Singapore before flying back to Osaka where she lands at 7.29 a.m. So how long is the flight? The answer given is seven hours and 38 minutes. But Japan is one hour ahead of Singapore. So the actual flight time is six hours and 38 minutes. 
Speaking of time, I didn't realise it was so late. I'd better fly myself. See ya!